President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets with visiting EU Commissioner for Neighborhood and Enlargement. Israel to build over new 1,300 West Bank illegal settler homes. Welcome back. The details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Sunday said Egypt looks forward to develop future cooperation relations with the EU through drafting a joint understanding based on the lessons drawn from the last decade's regional turmoils as he met with visiting European Union Commissioner for Neighborhood and Enlargement Oliver Verhele. The president stressed that mutual interests and rising challenges facing both shores of the Mediterranean necessitate such a joint understanding. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassam Radi said the meeting dealt with different aspects and dimensions of Egypt-EU relations, notably in education and health care, as they are basic constituents of the state strategy for building man. The meeting also tackled cooperation in combating coronavirus fallouts through cooperation in the joint manufacturing of vaccines for both locals and regional markets, given Egypt's advanced pharmaceutical industry infrastructure. President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Sunday addressed Cairo Water Week 2021 via video conference as he reiterated that Egypt took the initiative along with other countries to rationalize the water usage as part of the comprehensive vision of Egypt 2030. We have more details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said on Sunday, water scarcity is one of the major worldwide problems among other challenges such as overpopulation, environment degradation, irrational establishment of unstudied water projects. Addressing the inauguration ceremony of the Cairo Water Week 2021 via video conference, the president said Egypt took the initiative along with the other countries to rationalize the water usage as part of the comprehensive vision of Egypt 2030. President Sisi added that Egypt believes that supporting development efforts is a main prerequisite for establishing international peace and security, pointing out that the country is adopting an ambitious national water resources management and development strategy with an estimated cost of 50 billion US dollars. The president added that the strategic plan for developing and managing water resources till 30, uh, 2037 will address the country's water challenges, mainly rainfall scarcity and full dependence on Nile waters. Over the file of the Ethiopian dam on the Nile River, President Sisi said a balanced legally binding agreement should be adopted in the nearest possible time and with no more pro procrastinations in line with the UN Security Council statement issued in last September. Organized by the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation, the fourth edition of CWW is held under the theme of Water, Population and Global Changes, Challenges and Opportunities and runs through October 28th. The annual event is a major global water related held in collaboration with national, regional and international partners as part of the activities that aim at a better connecting water organizations. Via video conference, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli told the first session of the Cairo Water Week that the water issue is a life or death issue for Egypt given its national and geographical location. Medbouli called for an open dialogue to enhance cooperation among countries sharing river waters aimed at ensuring optimal administration of international river basin. The Prime Minister said such dialogue will help achieve aspire developments for all peoples, adding that there is a need also to secure international support to countries that are facing water scarcity, provided that political leaders are willing to create needed mechanisms for a cooperative administration for shared water. Worth mentioning that Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli arrived accompanied by a high-ranking delegation to the French capital Paris in a an official visit in which he is going to have official talks with a number of um, CEOs of big multinational companies who have interests of making a lot of investment projects in Egypt. 
Back to the CWW addressing the inaugural ceremony of CWW Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ati said the sound and effective management of cross border water resources is a major world challenge. The minister added that world governments are obliged to provide for its national water security with ambitious plans. Abdel Ati said the Egyptian state had taken major measures to establish mega national projects with the aim of rationalizing water uses and improving water quality over the Renaissance Dam issue. The Water Resources Minister stressed a legal and just agreement should be reached over the filling and operation processes of the so-called Ethiopian Dam, adding that Egypt is keen to boost cooperation with all states in the field of water resources. Egypt's coronavirus cured cases rose to 273,154 cases, 649 patients were discharged from quarantine hospitals and reviewing the daily tally of the domestic viral caseload. The health ministry reported 881 new infections and 47 new fatalities. The head of the High National Election Commission of Libya, Ahmed Sayah, said on Sunday that the registration for candidates in the presidential and parliamentary elections in the country should open as of the first half of November. Sayah added that the registration process should open in mid-November when technical and logistical preparations are completed. Wrangling over the constitutional basis for elections, the rules governing the vote and questions over its credibility have threatened tended to unravel the country's peace process over the last months.